Very often we'll get stereo music cues from a composer. And if we're mixing in 5.1 or 7.1 or Atmos or another immersive format, it's really nice if we can take the stereo music cues and upmix them to the format we're mixing in. Pentio is great to do that. It's an upmix plugin which will take these stereo files and upmix them to one of the immersive formats. We have four music tracks. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new auxiliary track to put Pentio on. Call this music mix. And we're going to route the four music tracks to this music upmix track. A really simple and quick way to do that is if you select all the tracks. So I selected all the music tracks. I'm going to hold down shift and option and set the output of one of those tracks to the music upmix track. And all of the selected tracks now are bussed to that music upmix track. Add the Pentio plugin to the music upmix track. Add an insert, multi channel plugin, sound field. Pentio Stereo to 5.1. If you look at this music up mix track, it just went from being a stereo track to a 5.1 track. Next, we're going to bus the up mix track to the music master. If we play a music track, you'll notice the stereo is being up mixed to 5.1. We can also see that in the Pentio plugin. Here is your input, and here is your output. You can also open the visualizer to see what's happening with the music. I'm coming back home. Yes, I'm coming to see how much. If you look at the Pentio interface for a 5.1 upmix, you'll be able to access the center channel level as well as the left and right surround levels. You can also access the LFE. For music, I generally choose to turn the LFE off, I prefer to keep the LFE for low frequency effects as opposed to music content. The center parameter will allow you to adjust the level of what's being sent to the center channel. This is really helpful if you have a scene with music and dialogue and you need to clear some room in the center channel for the dialogue. You can automate this to drop down and come back after the dialogue. You can also do this with surrounds as well. Don't forget enable automation for the plugin.